fuck, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh yeah, ugly. Didn't I make you laugh? Didn't I make you smile? Hi friends, it's Rory, and today is a video that I'm kind of low-key, high-key excited about. Uh, this video is me talking about books that I love, and I'm talking some of my favorite books of all time are on this list. Uh, with covers I absolutely despise. Um, I know that everyone is just like, you don't need to do disclaimers at all, but like, in this case I am going to do a disclaimer. I personally find these covers ugly. That doesn't mean that you will find these covers ugly. This is all according to my aesthetic. Um, and so with each book, because what's ugly to me may not be ugly to another, I'm going to talk about why I find the cover ugly. We're going to start with one. This book is for this version specifically, and I hate this cover for one reason. So this isn't really like... I find the cover ugly because I do find the cover like pleasing overall but there's one aspect of it that makes me fucking hate this cover and that is the exclusive collector's edition of Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell and the one thing I hate is this thing right here where it's where Levi is just saying hey there's a sneak peek of carry on why is that on this why it makes this so awful, especially because everything else in this is so good. Like, it's mainly the original fangirl cover, which I like, um, but it's in this gorgeous, like, magenta-y pink, and I adore it. It's got, like, Levi and Kath are much bigger, and I love it. Everything else is the same. It's still got that mint color in the fangirl and in her jacket. Everything is great, but the freaking little text bubble, and it ruins it, and I hate this. Okay, so the next one is a series that I love. And I only have a problem with one of the covers for the series. Now, there is a series called Love Sign, or the sign called the Signs of Love series. It's a romance series. It's a queer romance series by Anita Sunday, Anita Sunday, however she pronounces it. Um, I do like Anita Sunday books. Um, I've read several of them, uh, not just The Signs of Love, but The Signs of Love is one of my low-key favorite series. It is erotica, so just if you want to read it, know that ahead of time, it is erotica. Now, uh, most of these books, I absolutely adore the covers of them. Like, the first book is called Leo Loves Aries, and it's so good. It's so pretty. I'm a space whore. Um, so anything that has space, I love. If there is space on a cover, nine times out of ten, I'll at least look and see what it's about. And this one, it's, it's so beautiful. It's got like the monochromatic space in the very background. And then it's got the main character, Theo, who is just like there. And he looks very nice and he's very attractive. Just saying. Um, and the font is really, really good and I love it. And the same continues with the second one. Um, which is called Scorpio Hates Virgo, which is really, really good. It's got that beautiful love-hate relation, or like enemies to lovers, like trope. Actually, it's more of an enemies to friends to lovers, which is even better. And it's just like, it's so good. It's so good. And just like the guy on the front is very well put together. It's once again got the monochromatic like galaxy in the background it's great and then you get to the third book and the third book is called gemini keeps capricorn now i'm a gemini and i do really 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 like this book it's uh kind of like not really enemies they're like snippy with each other and they talk about how they're enemies but so I'm just gonna say enemies it's like once again the enemies to friends to lovers but it adds in the fake dating aspect and it's great and I love it and the guy who's a Gemini is basically me hi by the way just as a real quick pause I am a astrology whore I'm a Gemini or I'm a double Gemini so I'm a Gemini Sun and a Gemini moon and I'm a rising Scorpio so like I am all about 
astrology and the guy who's a Gemini in this is so much like me. It's ridiculous. But, and I haven't shown the cover yet, and that's because despite it having the same like look as the other two, like it's got the monochromatic like galaxy in the background. I hate this cover because the guy on the front is shirtless and specifically, this is gonna sound like so nitpicky, but specifically his nipple, it makes me uncomfortable. Disgusted, I am revolted, I dedicate my entire life to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and this is the thanks I get? Just the fact that I can see his nipple in this book cover, it makes me uncomfy. And I'm just like, I hate it. I hate this cover. And I don't understand why this one is just like, I'm looking at them on my laptop. That's why I keep looking down. And I don't understand just like why this one, they were like, we're gonna make him shirtless and you can see his really uncomfortable looking nipple. But just like the rest of them, because the one after that is uh, Pisces, Hooks, Torres. Um, and the guy, you know, that one is probably my least favorite besides you know the third one which i absolutely absolutely hate but like you know still it's fine and then the fifth one i really like which is cancer ships aquarius uh and the guy just like once again very attractive all of them have the same like and it's great but just i'm so uncomfy with the third book and it it's, i hate it i hate it but once again i love that book i gave it a four stars it's great but uh, if i could just like not look at that guy's nipple i would really appreciate it let's go on to another one of my favorite books of all time i've mentioned it so much on this channel it's my childhood favorite ella enchanted by gail carson levine i love this book so much so much ah oh, it's fantastic whenever i show uh this book in my videos i will always choose this cover which is gorgeous and i absolutely adore it however that cover is for the paperback version of l enchanted which i don't have um, I want to get it, but at the same time, as you know, I fucking hate paperback copies of books. So I haven't gotten it, even though I adore this cover. But I had the original hardback cover, which looks like this. And this one is not, like, I don't absolutely hate it. But just, like, when I look at this, I'm like, uh... Uh, mm -mm. I think the issue is that like the girl on it does not look like how I think of Ella looking when I read it she doesn't look like that to me um and so that's kind of like an issue that I personally have um and then just like the the like curtain thing that's behind her it's really weird looking in my opinion and the texture of it kind of makes me a little bit weird um another thing that constantly annoys me is that you cannot seem to find this cover without the little metal on it which annoys me to death i love like the book awards that they have like i know for a fact that the ship of the dead which is the third magnus chase book um has the Stonewall Awards thing, um, the R. Subtle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe, they also have the Stonewall, and they have a couple more book awards, um, and you can find covers with those awards on them, but you can also find covers without those awards on them, and you never seem to be able to find Elle Enchanted without that freaking award stamp on it. And I hate those stamps. I hate them. I hate them. I feel like they, they don't match with any book cover. And so I will always go out of my way to try to find one without the stamp on them. And Mick freaking Elle Enchanted does not have that. And just like, it's weird. It's just weird. It's a weird book cover to me, and I don't like it, and it makes me kind of like annoyed with it. 
and I really, really wish that they would have a hardback version of the paperback cover, which is so freaking beautiful, but no. And so I'm gonna have to find a paperback version of Ella Enchanted, even though I don't like paperback books. Oh, it's so fucking frustrating. Oh, let's do my newest like book I like with a cover that I hate. Called on the Hawk by Maggie Stiefeiter. Stiefvater. I read it last month. Um, I'm a huge fan of the original series. I really, really did enjoy Called on the Hawk, but I fucking hate the cover so much so much and I know other people who absolutely adore this cover but I just hate it I hate it and I'll tell you why I hate it because the cover to me looks like clip art <laughs> I'm so, so you know how um in old like powerpoint they had like those gradient effects like that you could use for your powerpoint the main part of this cover looks like that gradient effect like it black and then yellow and then and then they gradient it and mm, don't like it don't like it and then you have the hawk and it's just like also don't like that and i just <laughs> i think another reason why i really hate this cover is because i'm comparing it to the original trilogy and our trilogy it's Raven Cycle is not a trilogy. I'm comparing it to the original series. And I know that people like complain about the original series um, covers sometimes, but I absolutely think they are gorgeous. I think they are beautiful. And not even taking into account like that I got custom covers, uh, which I did, but even though I got custom covers, I love the original cover so much that I cut up the cover uh, binding because I had to order all of the books in hardbacks and I didn't want to just get rid of the original covers because I love them so much so I like cut them to where they're like little poster sizes and I hung them up on my wall I freaking love those covers and this just like looks like bad clip art to me and <laughs> sorry um another one I mention this book series all the time and if you've read the series and you own the series in print, you know for a fact that this is going to be on there. Uh, the All for the Game series covers are really ugly. <laughs> I'm holding up The King's Men, which is the third in the series and my personal favorite, um, but all of them are very, very ugly. It's got, it's just, it looks like clip art. It's a white book with clip art cover and then just like, the, like these look like PowerPoint presentations and they're ugly and I pray daily <laughs> that we get new covers and I know for a fact we won't ironically enough the audiobook versions uh when I found uh so they did an an audiobook of all three books and I as everyone knows, uh, adore audiobooks, and I own all of them, and I love the audiobooks. My roommate just read the entire series by listening to the audiobook version, and it's great. It's, uh, it's 10 out of 10, and they gave them different covers for the audiobooks, um, and I think that the covers are great. The, uh, actor that is supposed to, uh, be Neil on those audiobooks is great, and I genuinely enjoy them, but these are ugly as all hell. <laughs> And I only face them forward on my bookshelf because I love this series, especially this one. It's my favorite. Another one is one of my old uh, fashion favorites. I genuinely adore this book and I adore this movie, but the cover of this book is ugh, it's mm, I hate it. Um, and that's The Time Traveler's Wife. First of all, I've already talked about this. I hate these 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 i hate them i hate them so much they're awful and the worst thing about this is i love mint i love this mint color i think it's great but it like fades into the picture and i hate that and like i the picture it's blurry and i know it's supposed to be like ooh, it's like a fic an old-fashioned photograph because it's like 
you can't really tell what's going on there and you can't really tell what's going on with henry here and it's just like mm, yeah okay but that's real dumb and you can't mm, it's just i hate it i hate the like bad it this faden looks like when you mess with um microsoft movie maker back before in like good internet was a thing and you do one of those fade in effects between like the two pictures that you were playing with you know what i mean like it would just slowly fade in and it looked really bad that's how i feel about that that's what this looks i think it makes sense with the story but i just think it looks bad and the last one we're gonna talk about is my favorite whenever i think about a book that i absolutely love with a cover i hate i think of this now as everyone knows one of my favorite book series is the gay teen's guide to defeating a siren if there is a chance that i could bring it up in order for it to be read i will bring it up more people need to read this book and these covers are not the ones i'm talking about because this is gorgeous once again i still don't have the first one my roommate is still working on it but this is the first one equally as gorgeous as this one this was not the cover it had when i first read this book no it had this cover <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> oh my gosh. Looking at this cover now is just like, why did I decide to read this book? Like, I high-key judge this cover and if i did not have these covers to fall back on and show people it would be really kind of a little bit embarrassing to show this cover all the time on my booktube channel i hate it it looks like a bad you know what it looks like it looks like a history textbook like a 90s history textbook oh my gosh <laughs> i hate to do it to you cody wagner but it looks like a bad history book cover and just like it's it's supposed to be drawn the siren in this looks ridiculous it look it, it mm, the drawing on it is not great and i mm, Mm, just like weird there's an a weird emphasis on the boobs of the siren and the, the proportions on the head of blaze in this like his head to shoulder to waist ratio is just like not great not great and just like everything mm, i hate this cover it's the it's it's the worst it is so bad and i i praise god every day that they that cody wagner decided to change the covers because now we have covers like these and they're so beautiful they're so gorgeous oh mwah, i love it and with that those are some of the books i love with covers that i absolutely hate like i said before this is just according to my aesthetic let me know if uh, any of the covers that i said i absolutely hate and roasted to all hell are covers that you absolutely love as always i hope that you guys had a good time with me today um there's a link down below to where you can register to vote make sure that you are registered in time to vote for our upcoming national election because we desperately need it i hope that you guys have a great rest of your day bye